Welcome to Badminton Unlimited. It was all systems go in Odense when the HSBC VWF World Tour resumed at the Victor Denmark Open 2021. Despite last minute player withdrawals, a world class competition was still on show across all five categories. We begin our discipline by discipline review of the Super 1000 showpiece with the men's singles. Top two seeds Kenta Momota and Victor Axelsson opened their respective campaigns with relative ease, winning the first two rounds in straight games. Sweeping past Frenchman Thomas Junior Popov in the first round, Momota then demonstrated his trademark resilience to defeat Kidambi Srikant in the last 16. Thomas Cup hero Jonathan Christie would be the world champion's opponent in the quarterfinals. The Indonesian hoping his recent good form would put him in good stead for his sixth meeting with Momota. Earning his spot against Axelsson was another Southeast Asian. Malaysia's Li Zijia passing tricky tests against Wang Xiu Wei and Liu Darren with flying colors to set up an exciting last day clash with the Olympic champion. Anders Antonsen's exit was the biggest shock of the early rounds. The defending champion was nowhere near his best, going down to Samir Verma in the last 16. Indonesia's hopes were dashed in the quarterfinals when Christie was forced to retire against Momota. Already a game up, the Japanese ace was looking to close out the second, but Christie's back injury concluded the contest earlier than expected. Axelsson made sure a title clash with Momota was still on the table after a convincing win over Li Zijia. Li, the last man to defeat the Dane back in March, ceded to Axelsson's authority in the closing points of both games. He's done it. It was a tough match today, and especially the last few uh, crucial points uh, in first set and also second set. Uh, I, I tried, but uh, he's more confident. Yeah. Lee Chuk Yu would be Axelsson's challenger in the semi finals. The Hong Konger outplaying 2018 runner up Cho Tian Chen in a three game thriller. Momota and Axelsson kept up the billing for a blockbuster title showdown after dominant performances on semi-finals day. Axelsson crushed Lee Chuk Yu's challenge in just 34 minutes. On form and on song, the Danish superstar relished the titanic battle on the horizon. Extraordinary performance. You know, I've had a bit of a hard time against Momota in our last encounter, so tomorrow I want to do better. I want to see if uh, if I can beat him, um, I'm feeling confident. I'm really much looking forward to it. But obviously, I have huge respect for Momota. He's a really strong opponent, so it will be it will be a really fun experience tomorrow, I'm sure. World number one, Momota was comfortable in his straight games victory over Indonesian veteran Tommy Sugiarto, but was under no illusion of the demands needed to win the title against Axelsen. It was probably the matchup everyone was waiting for, and neither Momota nor Axelson disappointed. Momota's resilience earned him the opening game, but as soon as Axelson found his way in the second, the Dane was unstoppable. Tenacious in attack and fluid in movement, the Olympic champion showing every reason why he is worthy of the Denmark Open crown. He's done it. Victor Axelson, the Olympic champion, beats the reigning world champion and world number one, Kento Momota. To win against a player of that caliber here at my home soil is, is obviously a dream coming true. Second game I was trading behind and to be honest I was feeling a little bit 
Oh no, not again. Um, you know, I'm having a tough time finding the, the, the gaps um, right now. But then suddenly I started to relax, I started to play with a little bit of a higher pace and then it worked out and then obviously in the third game Kento might, you know, struggle a little bit uh, physically and I was able to hit some more winners. Number one seeds Wang Yi Liu, Huang Dongping eased through the early rounds in the mixed doubles. Tom Jiquel, Delphine Delroux gave the Olympic champions a stern test in the opening game in the round of 16, but Wang and Huang were too good in the end. It was also business as usual for 2019 champions Pravi Jordan, Malati Kaeve, Octavianti, and fourth seeds Yuta Watanabe, Arisa Higashino. The same could not be said of Chen Peng Soon, Go Liu Ying. The Rio Olympics silver medalists struggled to move through their gears and eventually bowed out in their first competitive outing since Tokyo 2020. Oh, and they've done it. A major upset here in the mixed doubles discipline. We plan this tournament just uh, for, for tra training. Training yeah. and competitions. Uh, we would take yeah. it as a tour for the uh, training and uh, recovering. Yeah, maybe yeah. because too rushed for us after all they come back to get with that, yeah. Jordan and Octavianti stayed on course to recapture the title they won two years ago. The third seeds edged China's Feng Yanzhe Du Yue in three games. A colorless display from 2017 champions Tang Chunman, Su Ying Sweat ensured a comfortable win for Wang and Huang. The top seeds would face Watanabe Higashino next in the semi-finals. The Olympic bronze medalists were in good form and they overcame Malaysia's Tan Kian Meng, Lai Pei Jing in an entertaining last eight encounter. It had to be the one, the drop shot. Today, on route to their Tokyo 2020 gold, Wang and Huang got the better of Watanabe and Higashino in the semi finals. But in this contest, the tables were turned. With Wang struggling to find his solid game from the backcourt, the Chinese duo were stunned in three games. I can't believe it. That's fantastic play. Dechapol, Puovaranukro and Sapsari Terra Tanachai squeezed past Jordan, Octavianti in the other last four clash. The match went right down to the wire with only errors by the Indonesians at the tail end of the decider, swinging the outcome in favour of the Thais. Match point 20. Let it in. Pas dia 21.20, saya pembukaan itu juga kesalahan yang sangat fatal. Saya pikir out, tapi taunya bolanya kena net dan masuk. Pasangan ini juga memang tetap bagus ya, punya kualitas. Jadi nggak bisa uh, sembarangan, maksudnya kayak kita nggak bisa sembarang main gitu. Jadi kalau misalkan kita asal-asal ketemu mereka pasti udah pasti kalah. Jadi memang kalau mau ketemu mereka itu memang pasti pertama harus siap capek dulu sama fokusnya sih harus lebih fokus. Watanabe and Higashino celebrated their second Super 1000 title of the year after defeating Puravaranukro Terra Tanachai. Watanabe's constant probing from the backcourt made life difficult for the Thais, and after just 37 minutes, it was all over. And they've done it. 21-9 on their third match point opportunity. Today they play very well and faster than us. And we only get them attack us. Yeah. I don't really see this. They more and just the Kishosen wa Jiven the Kinya Mochoto and the Shiva Nado Choto Hansetin that I don't know the so called shoes they stay, France they were 
あの優勝できるように修正していきたいと思います。The early rounds of the men's doubles saw big name casualties from Indonesia's Thomas Cup winning team. Second seeds Mohamed Hassan, Hendra Setiawan, paying the price for the lack of game time in recent weeks against a confident pair of Mark Lamsfus, Marvin Sabre. And that's it. And a major upset here. Kalau menurut saya sih emang kembali ke diri kita sendiri ya. Emang dari permainan benar-benar nggak ada feeling sama sekali buat. Buat di game ini, jadi memang begitu banyak melakukan kesalahan. Two times champions Marcus Fernaldi Gideon, Kevin Sanjaya Sukamuljo were next to bow out, conceding defeat to junior compatriots Muhammad Shohibul Fikri, Bagas Molana. I think they play really well today, and we are not lucky at the end. Takuro Hoki, Yugo Kobayashi also made sure that Olympic champions Lee Young Wang Chi Lin's campaign was cut short. That's gone wrong. Olympic goal is the past, so every tournament is a new start. So we didn't think too much. We just want to play well on court, but today we didn't do uh, do well. Fatigue took its toll on world number seven, Fajar Alfian Muhammad Rian Ardianto, as they went down 18-21, 17-21 to Gold Surfei and Nur Izuddin at the quarterfinal stage. The Indonesians were lacking their usual verve and energy in their play and had to yield after 34 minutes. And first time of asking the two youngsters from Malaysia. Baru pertama kali melakukan tour seperti ini. Jadi ini harus benar-benar di apa ya dipelajari sama kita semua. Ini tergantung kita pintar-pintar menjaga kondisi badan dan itu yang yang sangat mungkin yang sangat uh, menjadi problem ya buat kita semua sebagai atlet. Another impressive outing saw Lamsfus Seidel march on to the semifinals when they defeated Ong Yu Sin Tio Yi 21-18, 21-19. Completing a good day for the Europeans were Kim Astrup and Anders Skarup Rasmussen, who were taken to three games by Fikri Molana before sealing the win. Hoki Kobayashi sealed their first Super 1000 final appearance at the expense of German pair Lamsfus and Seidel. But the drama was in the other semi-final, where Astrup and Rasmussen dug deep to triumph over Goat Surfei Nur Izudin. The Danes were off to a flying start, taking the first game 21-11. But they threw a 13-5 lead in the second, and a decider was summoned. It could have gone to either pair, but Astrup and Rasmussen were more determined than ever to not slip up again. That's gone wide, but there's a challenge. It's right, and the match to the Danes. I was very emotional after the match, um, so I, I still am. So it wasn't a big dancing or anything, but uh, just uh, overwhelming in uh, in every sense. We put everything into it and left it all out there, and got a great start on the third game, and uh, a little bit of luck in the end, I would say. Odense Sports Park staged another Denmark-Japan final and it was the pairing of Hoki Kobayashi who walked away with the men's doubles title. Astrup Rasmussen were second best on the day as the Japanese pair stormed to their first title since 2016. And they've done it. The return of serve into the net and disappointment for the Danes. まあ、it's time for a breather. We've got highlights from the women's singles and doubles after this short break. Well, there's certainly no lack of effort from Akane Yamaguchi.
Welcome back to Badminton Unlimited's review of the Victor Denmark Open 2021. Earlier, we showed you highlights from the men's disciplines and mixed doubles. Now let's turn our attention to the women's competition. The first upset in women's singles saw the exit of third seed Rachanok Intanon, who was making a comeback from a shoulder injury and family bereavement. I come here and I talk with father and uh, my coach. Like, I don't want to think a lot from the past and make me, like, cannot grow up and, like, cannot look forward like that. Following the withdrawal of top seed Chen Yufei, there was a danger of losing the next highest seeded player, Akane Yamaguchi, when she dropped the first game in a lacklustre performance. The Japanese eventually came through in three games. Prasala V. Sindhu progressed in the same manner, passing her first stern test with a slight hiccup in the middle game against Pusanan Ong Bang Wungpak, who was ranked six places below. While local favourite Mia Blichfeld fell unexpectedly to her Spanish opponent Clara Azurmendi in straight games, ending Denmark's hope in women's singles. What was billed as the match of the quarterfinals turned out to be one-way traffic with An Su Young displaying her best form in eliminating Prasala 21-11, 21-12. Overall, I've been uh, uh, doing great and we've been working more on defence, but I think uh, today defence wasn't an issue, I would say. But uh, it was just that mistake, mistakes I should, uh, I should have controlled. In the other all-seeded clash, Yamaguchi overcame a sluggish start to eventually prevail over Porpawi Chochuwong in three games over 58 minutes. A maiden Super 1000 semi-final spot was on the line for Kirsty Gilmore and Azum Mendy, who were both promoted from the reserve list. After a 50-minute tussle, 25th-ranked Gilmore had a bit more experience and grit over her 56th-ranked Spanish opponent. It was very nervy from both of us out there. It wasn't a particularly long game for being three sets, so um, yeah, I managed to hold it together a bit better, uh, thankfully. In the first semi-final, sixth seed Hu Bing Zhao fought hard, but Yamaguchi reeled off three points in a row in both games to secure victory. Today, Despite an injury, fifth seed An Su Young ran away with the decider after looking down and out in the middle game against a determined Gilmore. <laughs> Ahn showed no signs of injury in the final as she cruised to a one-game lead and looked sharp to take the title. Well, there's certainly no lack of effort from Akane Yamaguchi. But Yamaguchi was not willing to throw in the towel. The second game, dominated by many long and gruelling rallies, took a beating on the Korean's body, and after 78 minutes, she was forced to retire due to a cramp. She's going for these shots because she knows that's the only way she's got a chance. Yeah. And now, now she's virtually collapsing. Yeah, she's had enough. She's quitting. I don't know if you can win it, but I think it's very happy. The win is very happy for me personally. This week at Odensa Sports Park, Team Japan fielded some old faces but a new combination in women's doubles. 
Arisa Higashino, who usually plays mixed doubles, and Yuki Fukushima, whose regular partner Sayaka Hirota is out with a knee surgery, teamed up to form a fresh partnership. So, how did this combination come about? ま、Fukushima and Higashino won their opening round with ease, but were unfortunately knocked out by third seeds Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young in the second round. Nonetheless, it was still a refreshing and fun experience for the cheerful duo. あの、<笑><笑> タイプがあの、ま、ヒロタとのあの、タイプが全然違うっていうのもあるので、ま、また新しい感覚が私の中でこう、あ、こういうプレイできるんだなっていうのもちょっとこう楽しみながらやってる部分もありますし、ま、す
However, a wrong choice of strategy, as they admitted in their post-match interview, presented Huang and Zheng with their first title as a pair. A perfect way to wrap up a month of competition in Europe. Thanks for watching. Next week, we spent some time with two time Olympic gold medalist Zhang Ning and reigning Olympic champion Victor Axelson. Since I started playing badminton, this is, has been my dream and only a really, really few uh, individuals who get to experience this feeling of winning an Olympic gold. Before we go, a reminder to download the Badminton For You app for the latest news, live results and video content. Bye-bye and we'll see you next week.